Hey guys, about the Bomb TV guys, so let me check in out. I made that answers eight just asking two good questions. Guys, seriously, like I have only had a conversation with Amitis. And I tell you, like they are good in raising their facts. Like I can tell you. Don't have a debate with Amitis. Sorry. But don't really have a debate with Amitis. Well guys, let's get straight into this. So, Mr. Chairman, as a confirmed atheist, am I allowed to ask two questions, sir? We distinguish people in the long line of the size of discipline or whatever we have to say. Why is it? Is it possible or is it anyway in the Bible or the Quran that Muhammad is the last one? There will be no further disciples or messiahs thereof. I don't know if I have interpreted the, this evening's discussion correctly. But that's my assumption. Confirmed atheist. That's what he said. Did he say that? Yeah. Yes. Which means he doesn't believe in God. Now he wants to know where in the Quran or the Bible it is said that Muhammad is the last prophet. But look, it is not a book of authority for you. Where does it fit you to know? Where... If you believe either of these books as the word of God, then you have a right to ask whether there is anything in the book. Because there is something in the book. You see, in the Holy Quran, we are told Wama Muhammadun illa Rasul, that Muhammad is no more than a messenger. Kat Khalat min Kabli Rusul. He says many were the messengers that passed away before him. And he says, Muhammad is a Khatumun Nabi'in. He is the last and seal of the prophets. There shall be no prophets after him. The Quran says so, but now I don't know how that act can act as an authority for you when you say you don't even believe in God. <laughs> I can't see any relevance unless you are playing a game with us to say you are a confirmed atheist. You just want to put us to the test whether we know our books, we know our onions or not. Right, I think we have answered it and you young man look. We were... All right, the next, next, next one. Let's have the next one. Right, next one, yes. Muhammad and Christ. Looking at the realities of civilization and of people, if the difference was very minute in terms of religious philosophy, and I think you have stated categorically that on all else we agree, why can't Christians and Muslims get together, set aside that minute difference? Rather conf and confuse our little minds. Why confuse our little minds? Why can't they preach that small difference? Take the 90% of compatibility <laughs> and explore it and teach us the basic ingredient of godliness. Thank you. <laughs> Good job in fishing in troubled waters. You see. This problem you should pose to the Christians because the Muslim has given his hand. Look, he says Jesus is the Christ. The Muslim says that. The Muslim says that he was the Messiah. He says he was born miraculously. That he gave life to the dead by God's permission. He healed those born blind and the lepers. Look, the Muslim is giving his hand of friendship again and again and again. Now this question of yours, this good spirit of yours, you should spend, expend it on your Christian friends. Ask them that, look, since a Muslim is coming forward, why aren't you prepared to give your hand of acceptance and say, look, we also believe that Muhammad is the messenger of God. And you, 1,200 million Christians and 1,000 million Muslims get, can get together on a common platform. Now, do that service for mankind. Ask your Christian friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a savage guy, like, I can't. 
do that service, like do it yourself, like do it yourself. Well, the question I made that asked why is because okay, let's say the go when I started was like when I started, I started with reacting to the face of Allah. Then yeah, I couldn't say that this is clearly what the Christians believe. Like this is where did we get it wrong? Like then I went further, I went further, I went further. I saw that Muslims believe Jesus didn't die in Christian. That that is our that is the that is that's Christianity. You saying Jesus didn't die is like Christianity didn't happen, like it's false. Like if if you can prove Jesus didn't die without any doubt, like there is no Christianity. So I feel that is the big gap between Christians and Muslims. So guys, tell me what you think about this video. Just like, share, subscribe to my channel. Leave your recommendations in the comment section, guys. Like I want recommendations that will make me understand more. Like I need recommendations from Christians, Muslims, atheists, anybody. Now make me see where you are coming from so I can share it with everyone on my channel. Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.